Hey guys, uh, I've just got a hair in my mouth. Thank you. <laughs> I thought I would do a bit of a get to know me kind of thing uh, because I don't think you guys know that much about me, even though you think you do. So, should we get started? I think we should. So, I am using this book because uh, I'm having to use my phone to film because I don't have a camera. I'm not that fancy, you know, all that posh. Uh, I actually was saying that. Anyway, I thought I would do a bit of a get to know me uh, thing. I did put it on my Instagram, so I will link my handle down below. But I really hope you enjoy watching this um, and let's get started. So, first question. When was I born? I was born the 11th of November, 2005. Um, favourite colour? Favourite colour? Probably... You know what, I know it's kind of cliche, but I do love baby blue. Like, I feel like everyone says that, but it is my favourite colour. But I do quite like baby pink, like, those are my two, like, favourite colours. Okay, zodiac sign, I am, in fact, a Scorpio. I love Scorpios. Actually, they can get quite annoying. But I think I relate quite a bit, even though people, like, I don't know, I just feel like I relate. Um, okay, holiday. So, like a dream holiday oh my god hawaii would be like my favorite thing like thing place to go or bora bora i know like i love hot countries like they're just my favorite um favorite shop probably i love pretty little thing and i also love sheen just because like if you can't get it somewhere else you can go sheen and it's just cheaper you know like i love a good bargain to be fair don't like spending my money i'm safer um dream car right so i hmm i have thought about this but i think my dream car i really really do love jeeps but range rovers it so i don't really know like a range rover or a jeep that would be like my dream car or an audi one one of the three um okay so like worst fear or what you scared of okay so there's two things that i'm like there's a fly. Um, <laughs> there's two things that I'm absolutely petrified of. Snakes and spiders. I cannot stand any of them. Sorry, there is a fly and it is getting on my nerves. <laughs> so yeah, um, snakes and spiders. Hate them, can't stand them. The only spiders I can ever stand is like the really, really like minuscule ones like this big. So yeah, otherwise I'll scream and you won't be seeing me for a week until you get out. Uh, where am I from? I live in the same place. I live in Surrey. That's where I live. Uh, kind of boring, but yeah. Siblings, I've got one sibling, a younger brother. That's my sibling. Um, oh, okay. So I got, what subjects did I take? Kind of like favourite subjects. So I took drama history food tech and re so those are like my options and then obviously i have to take maths english and science so yeah my favorite subject is drama for sure i love drama so much it's just so like fun and chill that you don't have to just sit there and write pages and pages like in english so yeah but what i have taken is kind of controversial i think that's the right word and i feel like i'm talking really really fast so i apologize but I'm like, I don't know, I've just got a load of energy. <laughs> but yeah, my favourite is probably drama. But like, I think, I don't know, I think it's the right word. I'm not too sure. But it's because I've taken like history, but then I've also taken drama. So you know, they kind of like cross. So yeah, uh, my height, I'm pretty sure I'm 5'3". And my shoe size is a 6, but my feet are actually a five and a half. So yeah, we just buy sixes because five and a half is too hard to like shop for. Um, I got asked also who inspires you the most. Okay, so Molly Bay, for sure. Like I don't know who you've just seen, but she's just become like the I think it's the yeah the head of like creative design for Pretty Little Thing. So yeah, and Gab, uh, Gabrielle Moses. I don't know whether you know who she is, but I love her like. But she lives in like a different country, so yeah. 
um why did i start youtube why did i say um so little back backstory i've always felt out of place kind of thing i've never really know what i wanted to do so when i started i must say it's about one or lockdown when covid hit um so from like then i've always wanted to you do youtube but um people at school scared me so i wanted to um just do it and stop caring what people think and what I think people are going to think of me because that's what stopped me and then I did it and I'm fine you know look at me go I'm sat here doing what I like even though maybe I'm not getting the most views or like the most likes but hopefully it'll grow um aim in life oh I don't really know uh okay aim in life is to I'd really like to succeed in this, but if not, I would really like to do travel and air hostess um, kind of thing. But and I don't think that's your aim in life. My aim in life is just to be happy, um, take care of like others. I don't really want it to become like, yeah, I don't, I don't know. But yeah, just making sure everyone's okay around me. And I know I'm using my hands a lot, but yeah, a uh, dream job kind of already said it this this is my dream job influencer um am i i also got asked whether i'm introvert or extrovert i'm not really either and i found this new word called i think it's called ambivert it's where you're a bit of both so like when you don't when you first meet me i'm not the most like over the top like just everything um but once you get to like meet me I'm crazy like there's just I don't know I'm just like everywhere like I can't keep a still conversation like I do struggle a bit but yeah I change the conversation a lot biggest life lesson is that you should love yourself the way you are uh so yeah uh and that's just I love that I love the way I look at the moment um so yeah when do you feel happiest or when I'm with my friends or family and just love, wait, 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 love living, wait, what? no, 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 uh, when you live life to the fullest, like when you just go and do stuff, like paddle, so I went like paddle boarding, I went, I camped in my garden, I roasted marshmallows and stuff like that, um, tattoos, I don't have any tattoos, um, I would love to get one like on my hand like here or like in I don't want to, like in here as it were like on my fingers or like my wrist or something piercings I don't have any earrings but I do have two piercings um first and second done that's it just on both ears favorite photo I shall put my one from the screen um describe my personality oh wow okay um hmm i am that i'm i don't know i think i'm fun yeah no i'm i'm quite fun Ooh. i'm not like the stuff that comes out of my mouth is so funny like i talk nonsense like pretty much all the time um i'm fun i've already said that i like to just go and do stuff um, I'm quite crazy. Um, I do love I do love to dance. That's one thing. Um, just like vibe in my room with some music on. Love to do that. Um, what makes you dislike a person? Oh, um, okay. This is gonna sound so bad, but when someone's voice annoys me, I can't talk to them because it's an issue, and I know that that's so bad. But I do struggle when their voice really annoys me to try and work past that. Like, yeah. Um, most product. Oh, okay. So when am I least and most productive? So I can be, I'm so productive at night. During the day, I can be productive, but I'm way more productive at like nighttime. Just, I don't know. There's some like a spark or something that's so productive at me. Like, um... Biggest accomplishment shit, yeah. Probably starting a YouTube channel. Uh, I was so scared, but 
now I've done it and I'm getting subscribers and I am slow, very, very slowly, but I'm slowly starting to grow um, on TikTok. You can go follow my TikTok, Instagram and YouTube. So I will show a link all down below, but I'm slowly growing on all of them. Uh, how can I uplift my mood? I can uplift my mood by sticking on some really good music and just vibing in my room and dancing in my mirror because I don't know that just lifts up my spirit listening to music is like amazing I don't, I don't know how to describe it like the feeling of listening to music when you're down is amazing uh where would I like to live I would I mean I love to live in LA but Hawaii would be quite cool to live in so yeah one of the two um uh what makes me cry okay um watching really sad tiktoks you know when like soldiers come home that that makes me cry uh really sad any really sad films um that i get like really engrossed into that makes me cry as well um hmm. how am i different okay so how am i different to like my part what do you say my past me I reckon um I'm a lot more talkative I talk to a lot more people quite not openly but like I'm just like present you know I'm not like standing back um I will quite happily talk to anyone pretty much unless they give me a problem to have a problem with them and I won't like I don't know how to describe it like I suppose I'm a lot more loud I, I'm louder than I used to be I'm not so quiet so yeah, I suppose that's what. Do I want to go to uni? Nope. I don't think I want to. School hasn't ever really been my thing at all. Um, what changes do I want to make in my life, if any? I don't think I do. The only change is to me to have my guts and do YouTube earlier. I know I'm only, I've only done it, what, for like a month? Whoa. It'll be, I think, almost a month. So yeah, that's crazy crazy but yeah that's the only thing i would change i don't i don't want to change anything else i think the past makes you who you are today so i wouldn't want to change anything uh pineapple on pizza right i'm okay i'm veggie i'm vegetarian so i don't eat meat so like i wouldn't have a ham pineapple pizza but when i wasn't veggie because i've been veggie for like almost five it'll be five years this christmas so when I did, I would have ham and pineapple. So I do think it belongs on pizza, but I've never had it on its own, to be fair. Marriage. Where, oh, okay. So when do I want to get married? I would like to get, I don't know. I feel like just when it's like, right. Obviously, I'm still, I'm only 15. I'm turning 16 in like two months, I think. Or maybe, maybe it's one month. I'm in November. What's, is it September, October, November? Yeah, so like two months. So, I don't know, whenever the time feels right, but, I mean, 30, maybe. 30 is quite a nice age to have been married. If I'm settled down with someone, obviously. Uh, superpower. If I could have any superpower, what would it be? Um, I mean, I'd love to fly. Then it'd be quite cool to be invisible. Or like, oh, no, I know, teleport. I would teleport anywhere. So then I could just think, um, like, Hawaii. And then, go, and then I'm there, you know? That'd be quite cool. Okay, last meal. What? Oh, last meal. I love food, though. Um, I do love pasta, but maybe a good... Maybe a, a, my mum's homemade cooked roast in the winter. But then if it was in the summer, I'd... As you know, either way, yeah. Last meal would be a roast dinner from my mum, but obviously no me. Uh, fave TV programme. Do love Friends. Absolutely love it. But I I do love Modern Family. Um, like, those kind of shows, I love them. Yeah, those kind of ones. Or Twilight. I know that's not really a programme. It's like a film, but it's like loads of films. So, yeah, out of those three. Biggest pet peeve. Oh God. Um wait, of me or people? I don't know. I don't actually know. 
Um, of people is probably walking in, what, like, you know when you walk and then someone just walks in front of you? That really annoys me. Um, also fidgeting. Can't stand it. But I'm a bit of a hypocrite because I fidget all the time. So, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but yeah, probably someone walking in front of me. I can't stand it. And then also people fidgeting. It gets in my nerves so bad. Um... Apple or orange juice? Orange juice all the way. I do love apple juice. I like it. But it is very, very, very sweet. So that's why I prefer orange juice. It's not so sweet. Um, and then what's the one? And last one. What's the one thing you can't live without? Hmm. What can't I live? Okay. I, family and friends. But I feel like that's what everyone would say. Um, but yeah, probably family and friends. Like, I don't think I could live without them. Like, I physically couldn't function without them. But yeah, I hope you learned a bit about me. And I hope I haven't talked too fast. Uh, so yeah, I really hope you enjoyed. And I shall link all my socials down below. I would love it if you subscribed. You give it a big thumbs up. And turn on the notifications. And also... Go and follow my TikTok and Instagram because I will be posting more on there. Uh, so yeah, bye.